everyone, this is Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and today we're going to solve arterial blood gas problems using the tic-tac-toe method. Um, in my previous video, I showed you how to solve ABG problems using the tic-tac-toe method. I talked about how to set it up, what it looks like, um, normal lab values, and what are abnormal values. So if you don't know how to use the tic-tac-toe method, I really recommend you check out that video previously. It's called ABG tic-tac-toe method um, before you watch this video because you may be a little lost. Also, when you're done watching this video, test your knowledge on how well you know your ABGs by going to our website, RegisteredNurseRN.com, and click the slider that says Quizzes, and you can go there and test your knowledge on how well you know your ABGs. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to set up these problems, and we're going to solve them. I'm going to be working five problems. I'm going to be covering metabolic disorders, respiratory disorders, and if they're compensated or uncompensated. So um, if you're ready, let's start. Our first problem, in nursing school, normally what you're given are just basic little um, lab values. You're given the pH level, you're given the metabolic level, and the respiratory level. Right here, I have written the normal level, so if you want to go ahead and just write that down. Um, your normal pH levels, I'm going to go over this real fast is 7.35 to 7.45. Anything less than 7.35 is an acid. Anything over 7.45 is a base, which is alkalotic. Your PCO, PACO2 represents respiratory levels, and it's the opposite of pH. Anything over 45 is an acid. Anything under 35 is base, alkalotic. So instead of your first number being an acid, your last number being a base, it's flipped. Metabolic, which is represented with the HCO3, 22 to 26 is normal and it's the same as pH. Anything less than 22 is an acid and anything over than 26 is alkalotic. So those are your normal values. Okay, so for our problem, we have a pH of 7.53 a respiratory PACO2 of 23 and an HCO3 of 18. So we set up our tic-tac-toe um, grid. We have written acid, normal, and base, and that is our little baseline. And anytime we get straight up and down of three, we know that we're done. Okay, for our pH, we ask ourselves, is this an acid or a base? And we know because it's over 7.45, it is a base, so it's alkalotic. So we are going to put pH under base. And we're going to look at our PaCO2 levels. And it's 23. And remember, it's the opposite. So your normal was 35 to 45. It's 23. So we know that that is basic. So we're going to put PaCO2 under base. And notice that they are lining up. But we still need to look at our HCO3 levels to tell us are we compensating or not? And it's 18, and but the normal value is 22 to 26, and since it's 18, we know it's an acid. It's acidotic. So we're gonna put this under acid. Okay, and we have our tic-tac-toe. So let's interpret, we're ready to interpret. Since this is under here, and we got the three cross, we are seeing, we gotta ask ourselves: is this a respiratory issue or a metabolic issue? We know that this is a respiratory issue because it's the PACO2. So it's respiratory. Next, we have to ask ourselves: is this alkalotic or acidotic? And we're under the base category. So we know it's alkalotic. And we have to ask ourselves, is the patient compensating or not compensating? And the other value of the metabolic will tell us this. See, the HCO3 is abnormal. The body is trying to regulate itself, so it's thrown off the metabolic rate. So we know that the body is trying to partially compensate. So this would be respiratory alkalosis partially compensated. Now, if your HCO3 was still normal, the body isn't really trying to compensate, so it would be uncompensated. So it's respiratory alkalosis and um, partially compensated. Okay, let's solve okay, our next, next problem. problem. We have a pH of 7.20. 
a PaCO2 of 30A and an HCO3 of 17. We've set up, set up our tic-tac-toe with acid, normal, and base as our baseline. And our goal is to get, as in tic-tac-toe, a line of three together. So we're going to look at the pH at 7.20. We know that that's an acid. So we're going to put under acid pH. We're going to look at the PaCO2, and it's 38. And um, the normal PaCO2 is 35 to 45, so it's normal. So we're going to put this under the normal. Next, we're going to look at the HCO3, and it is 17. The normal is 22 to 26, so we know that this value is acidotic. So it's going to go under acid, just like pH. Now we've, um, like in tic-tac-toe, we have our cross, so we're ready to interpret it. Um, we know that um, HCO3 represents metabolic, so we know with that we have a metabolic problem, and it's under acid, so we have metabolic acidosis. Next, we're going to see if it's uncompensated or partially compensated, and our PaCO2, the body's doing nothing about it, so the respiratory system is still normal, so it's uncompensated. So your answer would be metabolic acidosis uncompensated. If the PaCO2 was under base, the body would be trying to do something about it, so it would be partially compensated. But in this case, it's uncompensated. Okay, let's do our next problem. Okay, for our next problem, we have a pH of 7.48, a PaCO2 of 42, and an HCO3 of 35. So we've set up our problem for the tic-tac-toe. You have acid, normal, and base, and we're going to determine where each uh, value goes in the tic-tac-toe. pH is 7.48, and anything over 7.45 is a base, alkalotic. So pH is going to go under base. Our PaCO2 is 42. We know that PaCO2 normal ranges are 35 to 45. So since it's 42, our PaCO2 is normal. So that's going to go under the normal category. HCO3 is 35. Our normal range for HCO3 is 22 to 26. So we know that um, our metabolic is um, basic. So we're going to put HCO3 under basic. And we have our tic-tac-toe. This will help us interpret. We know that we have a metabolic problem. It's under base, so it's metabolic alkalosis. Next, we have to ask ourselves, is this compensated or uncompensated? And remember, if the body's trying to do something, it would throw off the other value. It's not. Our PaCO2 is normal. So we know that it's uncompensated. So the answer to this problem is metabolic alkalosis uncompensated. And again, just to remind you, if this PaCO2 was an acid, it would be trying to compensate. The body's trying to do something to get that homeostasis back. But in this case, it's not. So that's how you solve that problem. Let's do our next problem. Okay, for our next problem, we have the following lab values. We have a pH of 7.21, a PaCO2 of 50, and an HCO3 of 28. We've set up our problem using the tic-tac-toe. We have acid, normal, and base. And now we want to plug in these values to get the tic-tac-toe and see what we have. So first we're gonna ask ourselves with the pH, we have 7.21, is this an acid or a base? And we know anything less than 7.35 for a pH is an acid, so it's acidotic. So under acid, we're gonna put pH. For PaCO2, we know that the normal range is 35 to 45, and we have a range of 50. So we know that this is going to be an acid, so your PaCO2 is acidotic. So we're gonna put that under acid. And we already have our tic-tac-toe, but we still need to plug in the third value, the HCO3. Normal HCO3 is 22 to 26, it's 28. So we know that it is basic. So we're gonna put HCO3 under base. So now we are ready to determine what we have. Our problem is respiratory. We have respiratory acidosis, because that is where our tic-tac-toe is. Um, so respiratory acidosis, and we have to ask ourselves next, the last question, are we compensating or are we uncompensating? Uncompensated. 
So our HCO3 is thrown off. It's an acid. It's not in the normal range. So our body is trying to compensate. So we would have respiratory acidosis partially compensated. So that's the answer to that. Okay, let's do our next question. Okay, for this question, we have the following lab values. We have a pH of 7.50, a PaCO2 level of 47, and an HCO3 level of 27. We've set our problem up for the tic-tac-toe grid. We have acid, normal, and base, and now we're going to plug in these values to see where we get a tic-tac-toe. So first, let's start with pH. It's 7.50. We know that a normal pH is 7.35 to 7.45, so we know that our pH is basic. It's alkalotic. So we're going to put pH under base. Next, we are going to look at our PaCO2 levels. It's 47. A normal PaCO2 level is 35 to 45. So our PaCO2 level is acidotic. So under acid, we're going to put PaCO2. Lastly, we are going to look at our HCO3 level and it is 27. A normal HCO3 level is 22 to 26. So we know that that is basic, it's um, alkalotic. So we're gonna put HCO3 under base. And we have a tic-tac-toe. So do our line and we're going to interpret, we know that this is a metabolic problem because HCO3 represents metabolic and we know it's basic. So we have metabolic alkalosis. So we have to determine, are we trying to compensate? Is our body compensating or not? And the body is trying to compensate because the PaCO2 level is abnormal, it's acid. So the body's trying to do some homeostasis and get the body corrected. So we have, our answer is metabolic alkalosis partially compensated. Remember, if this PaCO2 level was under normal, it would be uncompensated because the body's not doing anything about it. So that is how you solve these ABG problems. Um, go to our website, registerednursrn.com, and click the banner that says quizzes. It's actually a slider, and it will take you to quizzes. We have a lot of NCLEX quizzes. ABG quizzes, drug and dosage calculation quizzes, and you can test your knowledge on how well you grasp this using the tic-tac-toe method. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful, and please give it a thumbs up, and I hope you have a great day.